welcome. My name is Lexi Jong, and here I like to talk about luxury makeup. And today we are talking about Lisa Eldridge. So Lisa Eldridge is my favorite makeup artist. And one of the things that I personally really love about her, by the way, if you haven't checked out her YouTube channel or her Instagram, definitely check those out on YouTube. She puts up a ton of videos and she is great about sharing her information and tips and tricks and all of that with everybody else. One of the things that's so great about her is that, you know, she has a true passion for makeup. You know, she's got this BBC series going through the history of makeup for all things luxury beauty on Clubhouse. Our book club for the month of May was actually her book called Face Paint. You know, and again, that's all about the history of makeup and kind of how things have developed into what we have today in the makeup industry and all of the attitudes and things that go before that. And there are some fantastic uh, uh, pictures in there and so forth. But Lisa Eldridge herself, you know, she is somebody who can create those avant-garde looks, you know, things that are great for print and magazines and runway shows and things like that. She does Dua Lipa's makeup, you know, all the time. <laughs> so she can do some of those like more daring looks, but she's very down to earth and humble. And the stuff that she really loves and is very passionate about is makeup for everybody. So her launch is, you know, it's something she's been working on for many years where she is trying to create the very best of the best products in a line, uh, you know, things that she would use and that she thinks is actually going to elevate somebody's makeup game, whether you're going for a really natural look or you want to go with something a little bit more daring. So her launch this time is going to happen on Saturday, May 29th, 4 p.m. UK time. So you need to purchase from her website. I'm happy to say that, you know, she, you can now purchase in US dollars. So if you're in the US, that's good. Before, you know, you had to purchase in pounds and then if you have any like fees on your credit card, you know, it, it could be a little bit of a hassle. I know myself, I have issues, you know, where you know, your bank's calling you like, are you trying to place this order and your card keeps getting declined? So it could be an issue at times in the past. So that's been resolved. Also, temporarily on her site, a shipping to some of the other countries was temporarily halted. That, as far as I know, is all taken care of. So this launch will be able to be available to everybody. Now, this is a pre-launch. So Saturday, May 29th, you can order things from the website. They are not going to ship until mid-June. I believe it was around June 16th. And then, you know, they will restock. So things will probably sell out or at least sell out uh, in many shades during this pre-launch, but they will be restocked. She does try to restock periodically, but you know, some of these higher in demand shades, they probably won't be back until like a later launch. So just something to note, you kind of have to be fast. I have my alarm set. So for me, 4 p.m. UK time is 11 a.m. Eastern time. Now, one other thing about Lisa Eldridge's makeup, you know, she's, I think, the person who first came up with velvet lipstick formulas. So instead of just a regular matte, that more plush velvety appearance, those are, you know, those are her creation and then it kind of spiraled. Now all these brands have velvet lipsticks as well. From what I understand, the velvet lipsticks are not returning right now. They will not be restocked. There are some shades currently available. Perhaps you will restock some of them, but there's nothing new launching in the velvet lipstick line. The lip liners, I believe, are not returning right now either. From what I understand, there will be a fall launch and those items will be part of that launch. I don't know if new shades will be added or, or what. So no details on that yet, but this time, she is releasing some new products. So she has a, a new line or division in here called Seamless Skin. And there are going to be four shades of Elevated Glow, which is a liquid highlighter. So from Chic Profile Official, there are four adaptive sheer tones and it's a glow skincare hybrid with blurring, tightening, and moisturizing properties. So that's the highlighter that'll retail for 38 US dollars. And then she's also releasing some liquid blushes and these are called Enlivening Blush. There are six shades. These retail for 34 US dollars. 
and they're going to be a light serum formula. So I have watched a video, I'll try to link that down below, where she applies that to somebody else. And you can also, also watch them try to apply it so you can see how easy it is to work with. And it's really pretty. So I can't wait to try those. In addition, she is restocking some items. So she's restocking the Gloss Embrace lip glosses, which are these. These were a new item during her last launch and they sold out immediately. I think I have all of the colors. I have five shades here. These are $25. So she's going to be restocking these and she's going to be adding four new shades. She's also bringing out lipsticks and I'm not sure how many. I want to say it's like seven lipsticks or something in the luxuriously lucent formula, which is different. So there were two shades that she brought out a few years ago in this formula. I have one of them. Go Lightly was the other, which sold out immediately. So this is Luxuriously Lucent Formula in Love of My Life. So this is going to be more of a sheer balmy lipstick. It's thin though. It's not going to be like uh, one of those thicker, more balmy type textures. It's going to be thin and sheer. This one's very pigmented. You can see this is a cool tone pink. I have this on my lips right now, but it's also topped with the Muse lip gloss, which is this one here. So let's go ahead and swatch the lip glosses. So this one is going to be Go Lightly. And these luxuriously lucent lipsticks, by the way, are going to retail for 36 US dollars. So for the lip glosses and the lipstick that is restocking, I do have lip swatches that I'll show you in a few minutes at the end of the video. This one here is going to be Muse, which is my favorite shade out of these. This one is Blush. And then we have Ribbon, which her ribbon lipstick is in the velvet formula and it's like my favorite red. You can see that it's a cool tone red, but one of the things that's so great about it is there's actually a mix of undertones in it. So it works for a variety of different undertones and skin tones. This last one here is called Myth and you can see it's like a cool tone blackberry. It's very beautiful. So from the top, we have the luxuriously lucent lipstick in Love of My Life. Then we have the Gloss Embrace shades in Go Lightly, Muse, Blush, Ribbon, and Myth. And by request, we're going to be going over just a few lip liner suggestions. Now, as I mentioned, Lisa Eldridge did come out with her own lip liners. They were only sold in a set. So it came with a set with the gloss, the lipstick, and the lip liner. So if you already had those lipsticks, you may or may not have picked those up. For ribbon, I picked it up. Um, so I have a couple of the lip liners. From what I understand, they will be sold separately in the fall. It's really late at night right now. I was editing the video and realized I completely forgot about Beauty, which is another one of the lip glosses. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this one here. So you can see Beauty. And I'll just re-swatch the other lip glosses real quickly so you can see them for comparison purposes. So right up top, we're putting Go Lightly. You can see that Go Lightly is going to be kind of like more of a coral shade. It's got a little bit of a warmer peachy pink kind of look to it. And then Beauty here is going to be kind of like a rose with some plum tones to it. This one here is going to be Muse. You can see that Muse is going to be a bit more of a nude shade. There is still a little bit of a mauve tone to it. And then this one here is Blush. And you can see that Blush has a bit more plum in it than the other shades. It's definitely got more purple notes in there. And then here is Ribbon. Again, this is going to be a cool tone kind of like magenta red. So there's red in it when you pile it up, but if you sheer it out, you really get this cool tone blue-based pink shade. And it's a really beautiful shade. And this last shade here is Myth, which you can see is a cool tone 
blackberry shade. So we've got Go Lightly, Beauty, Muse, Blush, Ribbon, and Myth. And one thing I'd like to note about the packaging here, when you put this in, you can see it like kind of like springs up a little bit. And then when you twist it, hear the click, I'll do it again. So you can actually make sure that it's fully closed with that little click. So let's just take a look at some lip liner matches for beauty. So for beauty, I like to use Pat McGrath in Starstruck this one here you can see that actually goes pretty well it's a little bit more dusky than beauty is bear rose from pat mcgrath this is gonna be a little bit of a lighter option but it still works very nicely with this shade i actually like the lisa eldridge blush lip liner with beauty as well see that those go very well together and then chanel number 172 Bois de Rose, we'll put that right here. So you can see Bois de Rose is a little bit warmer than the gloss, but it still works well with it. And just for completion's sake, this is the love of my life. You can see we've got this beautiful gold tube. It's more of that brushed gold look, like it's, um, you know, kind of like a satin, but it's, it's not actually brushed. You can see it's actually smooth here. And Let's put this shade down here. You can see how sheer that shade is, but yet it's pigmented. So these are all of the shades that I know of that at least the glosses are returning. I haven't seen it confirmed that Love of My Life is actually coming back, but there are seven lipsticks in the photos that she's had. So uh, I believe there are seven shades. I just, I'm not sure if any of the previous shades, Love of My Life or Go Lightly, are coming back or if they are all new. Starting here with the Luxuriously Lucent Lip Color and Love of My Life, my favorite lip liner to pair this with is from Chanel. This is number 182, Rose Framboise. And put that right here so you can see that. You can see that this is gonna be a bit more, it's a little deeper, it's a magenta pink, but I like to pair this one with it. For the Go Lightly Gloss, this is the new Sisley Lip Pencil in Sweet Coral. This is shade number 11, that right here. See that? I'll put it over here actually too, so you can kind of see that better. So I broke the tip off of that one, sorry. This one needs to be sharpened. But for Muse, we have a Pat McGrath Lip Liner. This is one of my favorites. This is Half Naked. Let's put that here. And see that half naked, you know, it's not a perfect match or anything, but I do like it with that. And then we have also from Pat McGrath, Done Undone, which is a little bit pinker. From Chanel, we have Nude Run, number 162. And you can see that, you know, again, these aren't a match, but I just personally, with Muse, I like the, you know, the actual um, more nude shade lip liners with it. So this one here is the Sisley in Nude. Now again, you can also pair, you know, something a little bit pinker with this as well. I'm going to look at some more. For blush, we're looking here at the Lisa Eldridge lip pencil in blush. So this is the one that she designed to match it. You can see how pink and it's like a, a pinkish berry shade. And then this one here is Pat McGrath in Starstruck. And this one I think pairs well with both Muse and Blush. Also from Pat McGrath, this one here is Bare Rose. And you can see that this is another one that I think works well with both Muse and Blush. It's a little bit softer than this one here. By the way, if you look at the Sephora photos for Starstruck and um, Bare Rose, it looks, Starstruck looks like this really pale, like milky pink. It's not. So it's just an inaccurate photo. So Starstruck's actually brighter than Bare Rose. Another shade that I like is number 172 from Chanel. This is Bois de Rose. See that there? I'll put that over here too. So I don't really wear this one with Muse, but I wear this one with blush. 
And then for ribbon, this is Lisa Eldridge's ribbon lip liner. You can see it's actually more pink than red. It's more of a bright pink. It's actually, you know, a little bit more red than the pink here. It's a little bit deeper, but it's still, it's pink. It's not red really. Now with the red ribbon gloss though, I do sometimes like to pair other shades with it. This is Pat McGrath in major or major red, which is going to be a little bit more, more red and less pink, but they're still pretty similar. So I think this is a great substitute if you don't have the ribbon lip liner. And if you wanna change the tone of the gloss, you know, I love personally pairing it with a different shade, a lip color as well. I don't mean lip color, I mean lip liner. So like 188 Brun Carmen, this is really like a deep shade, but if I put this lightly on my lips and kind of fill it in with that, kind of buff it out with my finger a little bit and then cover it with the ribbon gloss, you have a lot more depth and dimension there. I think it looks really beautiful. So instead of having more of a, a brighter cherry red, it has a little bit more depth and deepness to it. It's really beautiful. So it's just another way to kind of change up the look. And again, this is 188 Brun Carmen from Chanel. I love pairing this with red lipsticks, red glosses, and so forth. And last up, going with Myth, this is the Pat McGrath Lip Liner in Night Fever. You can see that that's going to be a pretty good match from Myth. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you the lip swatches and while I'm doing that I'm just going to talk a little bit about the formulas and my thoughts. Now as for the luxuriously lucent lip formula again I have the shade love of my life which is a bright cool tone pink and this is in the Lisa Eldridge's normal lipstick bullet which has that brush gold appearance to it it's magnetic you've got the Lisa Eldridge logo on the top and this formula is made in Italy. It's three and a half grams and it has an 18 month shelf life. This is going to be a sheer lightweight pigmented color. It's hydrating on the lips to the point where it keeps your lips hydrated and protected, but it doesn't seem to add any additional hydration. It does leave a pretty pigmented stain around, but the wear time for the actual texture of the lipstick is not long wearing in my opinion. So I think it's a very nice, comfortable formula. It's very appropriate for the summer. I think it's a good formula. It's not my favorite, but I like it and I like it enough to buy more of these. As for the Gloss Embrace lip glosses, I really like these lip glosses. These have a 36 month shelf life, so three years. They're also made in Italy. They have four and a half milliliters. And yeah, I think these are a great gloss. They are a little bit, thicker on the lips than some, you know, it's not gonna be one of those thin lip oils. It is more of a real gloss, but it's not sticky. It is reminiscent a bit of the Sisley lip glosses and the Westman Atelier liquid lip balms, the squeaky clean ones that just were released. So texturally, they're all kind of similar. They, they all have kind of that similar amount of weight and texture to them. They are very comfortable on the lips. And one thing to note, as you can see from these swatches, applying it in a thin layer, you kind of have to be careful because the color goes on a little evenly with a thin, unevenly with a thin layer. And then when you go in and put your second coat, it really looks perfected. Now these will wear like a regular lip gloss. Obviously they're not transfer proof or anything like that. And you know, they'll last for a couple of hours and then you want to reapply. The shades that are currently available are all paired with a velvet lipstick, and I think that they are gorgeous. They're not all exactly the same shade as the velvet lipstick. I do have an older video where I swatched all of those together if you'd like to take a look at that, but they're all very, very similar. So essentially the same color, but because of the formula, they can look slightly different. Certain undertones are more pronounced and so forth. Now, as I mentioned, these Gloss Embrace glosses do have a similar texture to my personal favorite lip gloss, which is the Sisley Lafito Gloss. These are just, they're not sticky at all, but there's just a little bit more tackiness or adherence um, than the Sisley. The Sisley has maybe a little bit more of an oil content in it 
comparatively. So there's a little bit more slip with the Sisley than there are with the Lisa Eldridge ones. They are very similar. The Lisa Eldridge, however, I do not smell any fragrance. So I don't have the original packaging anymore, so I don't remember if there is technically added fragrance or not, but I cannot smell any fragrance. So that's definitely a plus there. The Sisley, by the way, do have a fragrance. The Westman Atelier also have a fragrance. These glosses I think are fantastic. They are, you can get a sheer shade of color with this, but they are a bit more pigmented than the traditional gloss. So I think if you're looking for like a juicy burst of color, these are a fantastic option. And I think they are one of the best formulas on the market. I really, really like these. So I hope all of this was helpful. It gives you a little bit of information for the upcoming Lisa Eldridge launch. Again, that's going to be Saturday, May 29th at 4 p.m. UK or 11 a.m. Eastern time. And I am just so incredibly excited. I know a lot of people have asked me what I'm planning on getting. And basically, I'm going to try to get whatever I get. So I think for the highlights, I'm looking at the lightest two shades most likely the blushes i may want all of them i haven't seen swatches of everything yet lisa eldridge will be putting up she said three videos on all of these shades uh that should be up thursday and friday on her youtube channel so definitely check those out and then as for the gloss and braces i definitely want to pick up the new shades i'm interested in the new shades of the lipsticks as well so we'll see what i can get my hands on what i can't one thing to note if you are purchasing from her site, she often has these set options where you get a little bit of a price discount if you buy it as a set. So it's usually three items to a set. For example, you know, you could pick like three different velvet lipsticks and some of these are already curated sets, you know, where you don't pick the colors. Last, I think the last two launches, she actually had ones where you could create your own sets. The last one, she, you know, depending on what the items were, you know, if you were picking one of the sets with the glosses, you couldn't customize those, but you could customize the lip gloss set or the lipstick sets. So it's just something to look out for. So definitely check her site in advance before the launch. So if there are sets and everything that will be available, you can kind of plan what you want to get because again, these things do go quickly. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful. I can't wait to hear what everybody else is planning on picking up. So please let me know. One other thing I'd like to note, sometimes I know a lot of other people have noticed this as well, but the velvet lipstick formulas, especially the more recent ones for me, but some of them have broken in their tubes over time. It's a soft formula, so you have to be a little gentle. They're kind of fragile. This luxuriously lucent one is firmer. Uh, I personally, you know, mine is not damaged in any way. It hasn't broken and you can see that it hasn't even shifted in the tube at all. So that like with my velvets, when I apply it on, since it is so soft, sometimes you see a little dent where it pushes against the tube a little bit. But with these, the luxuriously lucent, this one you can see it doesn't move. It's a much firmer formula. I don't think breakage will be an issue with these. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. Thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you very soon and have a great day.